Outdoor Passion is brought to you by Princecraft, the spirit of boating. Williams Lures, trophy takers for over 100 years. Sport Chief, the legendary Canadian outdoor wear. And Rapala World Records, world class. It's really big. Ah. It's following the lure. Yes. The destination of the week is brought to you by Williams Lures, trophy takers for over 100 years. Trout and salmon are the kings of game fish and burn heavy on the hearts of anglers who fish them. All salmonid, salmon, trout and char form the three subfamilies of this widespread native group of cold water species. Only the brown trout's origins are not from this continent. They populate rivers, great and small, right across the continent. The Niagara River in the east and the Columbia in the west are two large rivers that yield heavy runs of trout and salmon. They thrive in great numbers in lakes and have boomed in many managed ponds. Chinook salmon, often called kings of the Great Lakes and the west coast, are easily identifiable. A key feature is the entire mouth, including the gums which are black and rows of sharp teeth that will kill anything that finds its way into them. Along with its strong stature, small black spots speckle the entire length by a silvery iridescent pearl coat with bluish or greenish hints giving them a distinct look. A remarkable change occurs in adult Chinooks when they're overwhelmed by the urge to spawn. The Great Lakes population loses its silvery robe to a darkening brown or gray hue, which progresses to a dark olive brown to charcoal black. Males develop the hooked upper jaw and the front teeth appear incredibly fierce. West Coast Chinooks tend to be more reddish or pinkish in tinge as they leave salt water to seek out spawning areas far upstream. The speed and power of Chinooks are legendary. Stripping 200 yards of line on the initial run is what inspires anglers. Oh. I'm trying. No, it's moving upstream. My God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, move it. Get closer to the shark. Okay, all the way to get. Get closer, yeah. Okay. They don't come to the net easily. Sheer joy of landing one comes from knowing that your arms can finally rest until you hook another one. In Alaska, the land of giants, an unbelievable 97-pound, 4-ounce monster was caught in the Kenai River. Adult coho have bright silvery sides with a bluish or greenish tint. Small, densely packed scales cover a very muscular and hydrodynamic body. The tail is slightly forked and adapted for this tireless traveler. Powerful jaws with small, sharp teeth set in grayish gums are efficient at seizing prey. In contrast to the Chinook, it sports white jaws filled with sharp teeth and lack black pigment. Surprisingly, their tongue is black and the jaw extends past the eye socket. The metallic blue back is covered with irregular black spots. Hard fighting coho are an angler's dream. Yes! An acrobatic fighter that is well known for drag stripping runs. Not hefty like a Chinook, it's much more wild when hooked. Oh yeah, big call. Quick bolts and twisting and turning rolls make it challenging to keep the hook pinned. Okay, he's going the other line. He's going the other line, okay. Let's go. Here we go. 
Yes, sir. All right. Oh, wow. The largest coho are called northerns among western anglers. The current world record was caught on the Salmon River in New York and weighed in at a staggering 33 pounds, 4 ounces. Monster coho! The smallest of the five Pacific species, the pink salmon spawn every two years and reach weights of 5 to 11 pounds. Football in shape, they're easily identified by their large spots along their backs. Spawning males are recognized by their huge humped shape. Nicknamed humpies, their large oval brown spots on their tails stand out in clear river water. The world record was caught in the state of Washington in September 2001 and weighed in at 14 pounds, 13 ounces. With an average size at around 3 to 6 pounds and often reach up to 14 pounds, they provide unsurpassed thrill to any angler. The Atlantic salmon is the crown jewel of salmon all over the world. Its energetic and acrobatic abilities are only matched by their table fare. Landlocked Atlantic salmon are often called Wamanish or Sebago salmon. Although these fish don't live in salt water, they are considered the same species. Missile shaped, the elongated body gives them remarkable speed. Coloration ranges from silvery to slightly brownish, adorned with dark spots. A wide fork tail provides tremendous power and a great handle for anglers to hold as they unhook this mystical fish. Battle one and you'll swear that they're the fastest salmon on earth. Sporting a pure white mouth, unlike their west coast cousins, these salmons have rows of teeth that make them dangerous predators. For the legions of anglers who pursue them, Atlantics are the ultimate fish. A willingness to snatch a fly, particularly off the surface, has attracted generations of fly anglers. Hordes of custom tackle, gear and techniques have been created just to fish them. Whether from shore or in a boat, expect vicious hits, long streaking runs and twisting jumps. The current world record, a 79-pound, 2-ounce Atlantic was caught in the Tana River in Norway in 1928. In 2010, a record landlocked salmon of 26 pounds, 12 ounces was registered from Torch Lake, Michigan. Rainbow trout have established origins in western North America, but through widespread fisheries management, their range reaches almost every corner of the continent. Once introduced into a new system, they tend to flourish often to the demise of native species. They can survive in warmer waters if they can find deeper water that holds more suitable water temperatures and levels of oxygen. Rainbows display silvery sides with a horizontal reddish band that varies in intensity from region to region. The back has a greenish and at times a bluish hue covered by black spots adorning its robe. Rainbow trout may live up to 11 years, but the average is closer to four to six years. The square tail has rows of black spots and are distributed over the entire body. Extremely popular with anglers, rainbows fight well and tend to jump wildly trying to escape the hook. It's common for these trout to leap many times before they tire. Non-migrating rainbows are usually found in cool, clear lakes, rivers, and streams. Members of a subspecies known as steelhead are similar to salmon as they migrate freshwater rivers to their spawning ground in the spring. The world record rainbow trout was 48 pounds and was caught by Sean Conrad in Saskatchewan, Canada from Lake Diefenbaker. It was caught on an orange maps cyclops spoon. The golden rainbow, also called palomino trout, is rare and considerably different from a rainbow trout. 
iridescent golden yellow color make it striking. Easily spotted in the shallows, they favor to seek food close to or on the surface. Its behavior is similar to native rainbow, often aggressive and lightning quick. Both can be found in clean rivers and lakes. As with all trout, these colorful beauties are extremely powerful, making them great fun on light tackle. Whether as a mount, replica, or large photo, it's an incredible specimen that would be a prize on any angler's trophy wall. No doubt this golden beauty fully deserves its name. One of the most exotic fish in North America. Every angler should try to catch at least one of them. The memories of landing this beauty will last forever. These fish are very powerful. They prefer a water temperature between 57 and 61 degrees. Catching one of those superb red meat trout is worth the trip alone. The world record golden trout weighed an astonishing 13 pounds, 8 ounces in Pennsylvania. Brown trout were introduced to our continent from Europe more than a century ago. Most consider the brown trout the most wary and elusive. Browns have a light yellow, silvery hue with strongly accentuated round X and Y-shaped black spots surrounded by lighter colored hollows. Browns are meat eaters and use their teeth and strong jaws to their benefit. A powerful squared tail propels them swiftly in current and allows them to be great predators. Browns can tolerate much warmer waters than all other salmonids. Finding brown trout is far from easy. It's vital to identify the correct water temperatures. Large brown trout are the toughest battler. The fight will last longer than other trout. We got him! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes. All right! All right! Oh, boy! A very strong fighter, they tend to be stubbornly bulldog and are not acrobatic like a rainbow. Huh? Oh, it's unbelievable. Big browns are notoriously fussy and catching a big one is what dreams are all made of. The world record came from the Oahu Canal in New Zealand on March 8, 2013. Its weight was an incredible 42 pounds, one ounce. Salmonids are powerful swimmers with tremendous stamina. A critical part of their DNA allows them to migrate incredible distances to reach spawning grounds. One of the great natural wonders is to witness fish making this trip. August to November are prime months to watch migrating browns and salmon since the spawning period is between October to November. Rainbows, on the other hand, migrate between February and April in most regions. A river full of salmon and trout is beneficial to the entire ecosystem. Financially, the overall economic benefits are considerable since migrating salmon and trout caught by anglers generates tremendous revenue. In most areas, the tourist dollar far surpasses the commercial industry, and this is vital to ensuring that rivers and the fish that make it back home remain untouched. With good conservation practices and educated fish handling methods, we can all do our part in preserving these important species and the ecosystem they live in. The destination of the week was brought to you by Sport Chief the legendary Canadian outdoor wear. Isn't that some great footage? I told you, we have to thank our cameramen who got it for us. But you never knew what was going on under the water, how the fish react to their environment. Very, very interesting. Still to come, the novelty minute and the Rapala shadow wrap. It's a jerk bait that will trigger big bass right after this. After these messages, it's fishing with UV reactive spoons. Stay with us. For over 70 years, we've always believed that to own a boat is to live an adventure. So go ahead, take off, explore, rise above, find your way.
fish. Go deep. Push the limits of your playground. Follow your instinct. We'll take care of the rest. Princecraft, the spirit of boating. On the way again. On the moose. Genuine silver and 24 karat gold finishes reflect all available light farther and brighter. UV reactive, strike triggering, color pattern accents for more big fish. Williams and Moose Look. Spoon feeding trophies for over 100 years. For over 50 years, Sport Chief established the highest industry standards for clothing, shoes, fishing, hunting, and outdoor accessories because Sport Chief knows what performs in the outdoors. Our innovative apparels ensures your total comfort, created from ingenious concepts, enhanced with progressive engineering to protect you from the worst storms. They are long-lasting, waterproof, camouflaged, silent, breathable, and odor-resistant. Sport Chief, the best garments, shoes, and legendary accessories for the great outdoors. Check out sportchief.com. Welcome to Minnow King, how can I help you? Everything looks good. I'm friggin' starving, man. Been spawning all morning. Ugh, TMI, bro. What do you want? I'll take a Crush City Freeloader and Gizzard Shad. Anything to drink? Water. Pull ahead, please. Welcome to Minnow King. We're gonna have what he's had. Yeah, throw me in a Ned BLT, too. Pull ahead, please. Calm down, quit feeding him so much. Oh, yeah, man, I'm trying to, man. If, he, if, he if you him. overfeed him, he's gonna hide under a log. For over 70 years, we've always believed that to own a boat is to live an adventure. So go ahead, take off, explore, rise above, find your way. Fish, go deep, push the limits of your playground, follow your instinct. We'll take care of the rest. Princecraft, the spirit of boating. The Novelty Minute is brought to you by Princecraft, the spirit of boating. All right, welcome back at Ray Carignan now with the Novelty Minute and something called the Shadow Wrap. It's a, it's from Rapala and it's something called a jerk bait. What is exactly. this? Exactly. Well, you have two models. You have the standard Shadow Wrap for two to four feet and the deep Shadow Wrap for working the bait in around four to eight feet. So you have a minnow profile, internal rattles. This will attract fish from long distances, give it a little twitch, and this lure will rotate around 180 degrees, and this will mimic a dying minnow in its last moment. And this will really turn on big bass, but also walleye and pike. And there is 14 different colors, and they are equipped with VMC round bend black treble hooks for extra hooking power. It's a very versatile lure. You can also use this lure trolling. I gave it some trolling tests and I cut loads of pikes and walleyes and bass. And this lure is very easy to use. You just cast it out, do some jerks, pause, let the lure do its work. Also on the slack line, it's a very natural presentation. So it's the Rapala Shadow Wrap for shallower presentation. And if you want to try it a little bit deeper, you need the Shadow Wrap Deep from Rapala. I think every fisherman should have these in their tackle box. Thanks very much, Ray. After last year's very successful introduction of the Williams Quicksilver Wobbling Spoon, Williams has complemented this line with additional colors. This year, you'll find four brand new color schemes. Embracing the knowledge of pro staff, guides, and their lure design team, they came up with four of the hottest patterns offered in spoons anywhere. 
We'll start off with the pearl and red, which highlights the jewelry grade finish found on all Quicksilvers, predominantly pearl. The red head and dots give it a sleek finish. You'll be amazed how much punch the pearl has. The illusion of the pearl and red with the bright silver flash is distinct and very appealing. This model offers a red top section with big red spots in combination with the scale pattern over a pearl body. The silver underbelly is a flash machine. The pearl and blue version will reign as queen of the abyss since it remains visible regardless of how deep you fish it. In clear water, it can reach distant fish. The custom blue and pearl spoon will catch the eye of game fish. Many prey species preferred by predators flash blue reflections as they swim. The large blue dot pattern adds an extra triggering factor. This is a very versatile color, tailor-made for clear, deep water and fast-flowing rivers. Anglers that are looking for a bright, high-contrast finish will appreciate the new orange and black dots with copper back Quicksilver Spoon. This is the most highly contrasted lure in the lineup, featuring a bold blend of orange and black. This hand-painted finish is also UV-enhanced, which means it uses the sun's ultraviolet rays to sparkle and shine brightly. UV light travels deeper and further than traditional light. Any UV enhanced bait will flash more intensely and can be seen at greater distances. The last addition is the pink eye. This two-tone pink and silver spoon is really eye-catching. With four distinct black dots, this subtle finish is also UV enhanced and complemented by a pure silver back. Nothing shines brighter than a Williams spoon, and this lure will gleam like no other. Pink is a great color and potent on trout and salmon, but other game fish won't let it swim by. In addition, Quicksilver's pink can change to a purplish tint depending on the angle of reflection and watercolor, which makes it even more versatile. This wobbler features a holographic fish decal that varies in tint and intensity according to the available light's angle. Another plus is the decal design. It imitates natural prey fish scales with the appropriate color variations according to the direction of reflective light. Each Quicksilver spoon is plated with the very best silver and premium copper, which is the trademark of Williams craftsmanship. These precious metals reflect further with even more sparkle and intensity. They offer an erratic wobbling action that mimics the panicked movements of wounded prey to perfection, making it ideal for casting, trolling, and even jigging. These four new color patterns consistently work for us. Under a variety of weather and water conditions, the Williams Quicksilver Spoons in these hot new colors performed flawlessly. Still more to come with great tips on how to fish trout and salmon right after this. It's unbelievable. Number three. For over 70 years, we've always believed that to own a boat is to live an adventure. So go ahead, take off, explore, rise above, find your way. Fish, go deep. Push the limits of your playground. Follow your instinct. We'll take care of the rest. Princecraft, the spirit of boating. On the William! Oh, on the Moosek! Genuine silver and 24 karat gold finishes reflect all available light farther and brighter. UV reactive, strike triggering, color pattern accents for more big fish. Williams and Moose Look. Spoon feeding trophies for over 100 years.
For over 50 years, Sport Chief established the highest industry standards for clothing, shoes, fishing, hunting, and outdoor accessories because Sport Chief knows what performs in the outdoors. Our innovative apparels ensures your total comfort, created from ingenious concepts, enhanced with progressive engineering to protect you from the worst storms. They are long-lasting, waterproof, camouflaged, silent, breathable, and odor-resistant. Sport Chief, the best garments, shoes, and legendary accessories for the great outdoors. Check out SportChief.com. Welcome to Minnow King, how can I help you? Everything looks good. I'm friggin' starving, man. Been spawning all morning. Ugh, TMI, bro. What do you want? I'll take a Crush City Freeloader and Gizzard Shad. Anything to drink? Water. Pull ahead, please. Welcome to Minnow King. We're gonna have what he's had. Yeah, throw me in a Ned BLT, too. Pull ahead, please. Calm down, quit feeding so much. Hey, man, I'm trying to, man, feed, feed If you boy. overfeed him, he's gonna hide under a log. For over 70 years, we've always believed that to own a boat is to live an adventure. So go ahead, take off, explore, rise above, find your way. Fish, go deep, push the limits of your playground, follow your instinct. We'll take care of the rest. Princecraft, the spirit of boating. Another great week on Outdoor Passion and the trout family. Salmon, trout, beautiful fish, oh, yeah. but aren't they hard to catch, Ray? Well, they're not that hard to catch because they are aggressive fish. The important thing is to find them. And you need to know the correct water temperature because it's very important for trout and salmon to fish at the right water level. And also the trolling speed, you have to really use the good speed for good lure action and also Troll a little bit faster than you would for other species because they are very, very fast fish. And you know, we are very lucky to have such a great trout and salmon fishery in North America. And uh, you know, the world record rainbow trout was caught in different Baker Lake in Saskatchewan. I didn't know that. What, is that your favorite place to fish it's for trout? It's one of uh, yeah. my favorite place for rainbow trout. And, and also uh, Chilean Patagonia for brown trout. That's in South America. This is really a brown trout fisherman paradise. Also, you have all of the Great Lakes and the famous Niagara River. And you know, it's a kind of all weather fish. And especially in the winter ice fishing, they are very, very active. They're a cold water fish. So ice fishing for them is really the most productive time. I think on our next trip, Andrew, we're gonna go do some trout and salmon angling. Love the trout. Thank you so much for watching again this week. We hope you get a chance to get out and enjoy your outdoor passion. Remember, if you do, try to leave things a little bit cleaner than when you found them. See you next week on Outdoor Passion. Outdoor Passion was brought to you by Rapala World Records, World Class, Princecraft, the spirit of boating, Sport Chief, the legendary Canadian outdoor wear, and Williams Lures, trophy takers for over 100 years. For more information or to contact us, visit our website at www.outdoorpassion.tv.